and was so afraid, he said, no, that, that's my sister, that ain't my wife, that's my sister. You can, you know, that, that, that she, because, it's, it, you know, Abraham thought that if I let the king know that this is my boo, uh -huh. then he gonna take me out. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna lie to the king and say that this is my sister. Uh -huh. God is so concerned about our concerns. God will fight on your behalf by way of a dream. The Bible said that he came, he spoke to the king in a dream and said, that's Abraham's wife. And if you touch her, I kill, I curse everything you got. The Bible said the king was so afraid. That man came to himself. After, after, after you have lied. God still had enough love to fight on your behalf. Y'all ain't kissed that thing. Y'all ain't. After, after, after you messed up, he still spoke to your enemies and said, don't touch him. I have to tell somebody after that. The Bible said that this man used the king to bless Abraham so until he was able to tell Lot. I'm going to give you your portion. And Lot started his own subdivision. I ain't hear nobody. Uh -huh. See, he, 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 he blessed Lot with so much until he was able to, to build his own apartment complex. That, there is something about following the voice of God when you don't know where it's leading you. But the songwriter said, where you lead, I will follow. Brother John, the problem we have is we want to maintain control. <coughs> and when you follow God, you have to let go of all of your control. You have to be so crazy, Dr. Nelson, until he'll tell you, don't take another check for six months. And you know what's got, and you got to go home and tell your wife, listen, the, the, the Lord told me that if I don't take a check for six months and play for free, that he's going to provide all of my needs according to his. See, y'all ain't crazy enough because the problem is you still got too much sense. Wow. This is why folk can't really, God can't really trust a lot of folk because they still got too much sense. They'll say, no, you can't do that. You, you, that. That don't make sense, of course. God works through people who who who's sick of sense. You, you got to lose your sense and pick up the sense of God. As long as you're still operating in your sense, you will never get anywhere. Yes. You got to lose test, but you got to lose your mind and put on the mind of Christ. And he said, my ways are not your ways, neither are my faults. Your, I'm doing praise and worship right now. Y'all ain't hear me. Uh -huh. So before the praise, this is why folk can't get with the praise. Because they have too much sense. And my senses are telling me if I sweat, I'm gonna mess up my hair. My senses are telling me that this mascara is gonna run down my eyes. My senses are telling me that I'm gonna mess up my suit if I praise God. Because we got too much sense. This is why God will use a donkey. This is why he'll let rocks cry out. This is why he'll praise God through animals because animals go off an of instinct. And when you serve in God, you got to move off instinct. If you feel the prayer, I, I, wait a minute, I, I sense the Holy Ghost. Let me jump in this thing right here. I, I ain't got time to sit and think about it. Well, should I shout? Should, should I lift my hands? You need a bill paid, don't you? Okay, I ain't got nobody. I will, I will. He's trying to find somebody who's going to go for him.
life is Christ and love the torch. How many got an I will in your spirit? You, you, you got to get ready to pray. I See, he, he said sing a new song. You know, I, I don't like old food. Old food makes me sick. In fact, some leftovers I will eat. So imagine how you feel about leftovers and old stuff. If he told you to sing a new song, why do you keep coming to God with the same old offering? Tell somebody, upgrade your offering. Tell somebody, upgrade your prayer life. Come on, you, 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 you gotta learn how to upgrade. You. Because the more time you spend with God, he will cause you to upgrade without notice. See, 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 Sprint, they told me that I have to, that I have to keep it going, keep it going. Hi, they, they, they told me, they told me that I have to wait two years before I can get an upgrade on my phone. They're trying to test out my loyalty or my faithfulness. And if you drop your contract within the two years, then there's a penalty. But the more time you spend with God, it can be three months, it can be four months, and when God is ready, he'll give you an upgrade. Tell somebody, I'm spending time with God, so I'm ready for my upgrade.
talked about you, you still gonna do his work.